Today, uh, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of how we can move about research and what is the major uh, output that you are going to get when you do about proper research. And also, I'll be showing some of the slides regarding the opportunities that you have uh, to pursue the research. And uh, uh, let me move on to my presentation. Before that, uh, once again, welcome all of you to the NES Mumbai College campus, virtual campus. So in this part, as I have mentioned, I'll be talking about what is the relevance of the research, how to do a good research, how to write a proposal, and how, what are the research organizations that we have uh, near to us. So the first uh, slide, I, I just want to give you an outline of what we are going to talk right now. Uh, it is why we do need to do the research project. And Anasar has rightly pointed out, uh, this is an era of technology, research and development. So everybody is very keen to see that what is your output, because everybody will be getting a PG degree from MBS Mumbai College. And meantime, what is the output that you got along with that when you are comparing with other colleges or other institutions? So our formal principle has make, made a tremendous change in the culture of the research with us that earlier the research was actually stagnated in the upper layers of the faculty level, like only faculty do the research. Then later on it moved to the research fellows and research fellows are also doing research and they get the PhD degree as a, uh, uh, when they, they are doing their research work and all. But now we have moved to a place where the master's students are also getting trained and they are also capable of doing PAKA research, which is competent enough to present in the outside with the confidence. So what I used to tell the people that, as a, you know, everybody knows that uh, recently there was a news uh, from the North India that a person who has been in at the age of 12 has qualified uh, degree, PG and uh, things like that. Because in the sense, uh, those who are having the very low ages, like uh, I'm not telling the age of 12, it's about 15 and he has qualified the and cracked many uh, examinations also that is actually capable of only after 10 years of his age. So what I'm trying to tell you is that we have developed in a, uh, developed to a place where we are supposed to work uh, from the very hard core itself. Like we have to initiate the process of doing research from the very beginning itself. That is, you have got uh, a very good chance for doing your research uh, in MES Mumbai College as a part of your master's. So oh, my first point is why do we need to do research? And how to write a good project proposal also we'll be talking. Because uh, in the proposal, uh, in the proposal, in the proposal, uh, we need to tell that this is what I need to uh, carry out, and this is my research project that I just wanted to do in this. And with this, uh, I just want to have a proposal uh, which is which can give money for me. Can you please reduce it? And what are the qualities of a good question? In the sense, you have to ask a question when you are doing research. Any questions can cannot be agreed upon. So we need to have a good question and what are the qualities for that uh, good question? And for after doing research, do we have any opportunities around us? That also we'll be discussing. And we'll also be talking about the communications and good practices in the communication. Like after doing research, 
you need to communicate with the peers you cannot simply keep your thesis at your home and your almara we need to get it published and communicate with the people around you so that is the part of the communication and for that i just i wanted to add a point yesterday somebody was also mentioning i think in the induction program the person who has gone for the united states um for um, to the community college in the united states she was pointing out the way by which our students are being getting treated in the conferences like ms mac and all they are getting a very big platform to express themselves to express their research so it's very very unique platform that not everyone in the uh, around you is getting so when you are doing a project you are having a possibility of presenting that to the peers in the international conference that has been hosted by the uh, ms mabad college that is called ms mac international conference so we have everything in a nutshell and we have the possibilities we have the um, a good library we have uh, computer labs we have the people we have good resource persons around you and that makes you stand ahead of the people that those are uh, near to you so uh, with this let me move on to the next question that are we on right track because uh, we all will be thinking that we will be getting a phd degree and that is to stop the research in the university and all and uh, for that we need to have a multitasking we are supposed to do many things like we need to get the funding we need to get the uh, uh, corrections done we need to write the thesis we need to publish it and we need to do many many things with the phd uh, when we just uh, the study is leading to the phd probably i would ask everyone over here to see a possibility of doing a phd degree to when you are joined for the masters because most of the programs which has been operated by the icer and all is actually <clears throat> the masters program is eventually leading them to have a phd degree also so that's a <clears throat> biggest challenge that we uh, need to crack and this is a photograph of uh, uh, or a caricature uh, from the outside you see that uh the student is entering into the uh, classroom and a research is actually the professor is actually entering to a research lab but you see that there's only one <coughs> wall around them what they are doing in uh, inside that is almost same so teaching and research is not having any uh, clear cut divisions it is it is same only because when you have a good research only you will have a good teaching and when you have good teaching only you can do the research it is actually complementary teaching and uh, how many of you you are uh, have been to this place this is iravigala national park of uh, kerala how many of you have been to this place can i even say something hello Tina, you there? Hello. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, your uh, telephones are muted by the authorities. Yeah. So, <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, uh, how many of you have been to this place, Eriviguala National Park? No, sir. No, wait. You are not been. No. Uh, this is actually near to the Mona. Mm -hmm. So, this is one of the best place uh, to be uh, visited in Kerala. It is one of the very nice place, and you get lots of shala forest, which is actually one of the only uh, forest patch that we have only in India and only in these kind of areas. so very unique uh, all over the world we don't have shala forest and this is the only place where we get this thing being a researcher we are fortunate to stay in this kind of place like you see that uh, we are putting a tent and uh, this is been taken in uh, 2016 and you see that we are uh, using a tent to uh, camp in that this kind of region and uh, this is another possibility those who are having interest in the travel and uh, those who are having very keen uh interest in the 
outdoors and all can opt for the research and the other way uh, i would say and uh, we uh, call the research as an arena for the lifetime you see that many people around you would have been doing the research for uh, all their lifetime uh, i have uh, uh, been in touch with a person who is no more now whose name is dr uh, tc narendran uh, who has been with um, our calicut university who have published uh, hundreds of papers on uh, particular uh, knowledge area called as entomology that is study of insect imagine all of his lifetime uh, from the morning 8 o'clock to the evening 6 o'clock he used to be there in the laboratory and that has made him a man of i am not sure that is actually the a, a part of the insect and he is the only person only person i would say that he is one of the 10 person in the all world who is that who has got that kind of a mastery on that particular subject so it is a, a lifetime uh, opportunities and uh, uh, i have already asked that why do we need to do research in the uh, uh, colleges and uh, do the masters be work and all so it is all about freedom to do an intellectually stimulating work it is all about okay i just wanted to encourage about this thing. i wanted to do a research on the poetry of the rumi and uh, i just wanted to do a, a thorough study about the uh, villages uh, in the kerala which is associated with the forest how they are dependent upon the forest and all and this kind of a question if you are asking and you are doing it with your own intellectual Uh, so that would be fun, and it is actually providing lot of access, additional resources like equipment, travel, field, and even uh, you can also hire a person who can assist you and all. And you can it also uh, keep updated in the field, and that will also increase the employability. And I am damn sure that when you go with a PG project, which is relatively peer reviewed and having a sense of Uh, appreciation that it has to be uh, in, a, in a very uh, very proper manner, and that will definitely fetch you a possibility of uh, getting a job. And I am sure that let me tell you a small uh, experience when I had uh, when I went for an interview at the Salim Ali Center for Ornithology in the, near the Coimbatore. This was that was after my PG uh, PG. So I was standing in front of the. Uh, people and as uh, so you know that i belong to the same place like uh, nilambur only so uh, as a, with uh, which is happening every one of you we'll all have a, an inferiority complex when we see the people from the north india who so wear in ties and having their appearance with uh, lots of capes uh, and uh, they speak good english and as you know uh, we are from a small village so that i that i had a feeling of okay and feel it to them there were around 100 people uh, in front of me and uh, i was just wondering uh, one person was sitting with a huge book as if a phd thesis you know there is a uh, i am just comparing the phd thesis that probably you might not have seen that it is something uh, which is hovering around 300 pages and uh, it will be much bigger than the uh, uh, yeah it is uh, more or less equal to uh three uh, masters dissertation so so there are 300 pages i would say so he was sitting with the, that kind of a uh, masters uh, project also and uh, uh that was with a spider in uh, there was a spider in his uh, the picture uh, the front page it was a spider so i was just wondering and i just asked him uh, uh raghavendra dr raghavendra is name uh, so i just asked him uh dagavendra uh, what is this all about because i was just moving with a small book which is having a 100 page and he is uh, having 300 page masters degree then dagavendra replied me that yeah this has been shot by this and that and uh, then he replied me that this particular study has been uh, supported by Am- american arachnological society there is a grant which has been given by the american people i was just shocked because i was not knowing that a masters degree project can also be supported by some other organization like american museum of natural history or so i was shot totally shocked and i uh, told him that okay that is that uh, 
well and uh, he was actually <coughs> shortlisted uh, and in some other programs and luckily i also got selected in that for the my phd degree and all so i was just it was an eye opener for me that is during 2000 during 2000 this is 20 years back during 2000 there is a person who is holding a masters degree book along with him for attending an interview and i would say that definitely he is going to back that position because he has got a commendable say in his topic and uh, he has actually uh, got selected for that and after that he got into ias also so he went uh, from the sacon he went to for pursuing the ias so what i'm trying to tell you is that increase the employability definitely this is my guarantee that it is going to fetch you a good market join uh, in the job field an academic improvement definitely when you have a publication that is actually an offshoot of the process that we are talking about definitely it is going to make for uh, many many changes and publications uh, that is going to be there with you until the end of the world you see that when you have a publication on your name after your masters degree uh, definitely after 200 years also it is going to be stay going to stay with us because i am reading some, some papers back in uh, 1877 and all you remember, imagine how many generations 1877 so uh, i am uh, reading that also in between so this is all about the publications that is going to be there until the end of the world irrespective of the subject i would say that not only zoology not only botany not only chemistry any subject under the world has got a value and that has to be there that will be there definitely for many years uh now let me ask you another question and that uh probably some of you have uh, done that kind of a job uh, can i ask you something can i even reply from mathematics hello any students from the mathematics pg over here okay yes, sir, anybody sir, there there, can, are, uh, can, there are yeah. some students from yeah. pg max you can ask the question max yeah so my uh, yeah yeah that's why I, i was just wondering that anyone can interfere in between any mathematics students please they are texting the message they are presenting them i see okay all right they can uh, can they switch on their mic for a moment i just want to ask a very simple question okay the, uh, the question is coming to you uh, it is very simple and i think that answer that much a uh, simple question is hello hello yeah anybody from maths please uh, sir max nana you are from maths right yes okay so have you ever done a small job when you are seeing a lake or a um, uh, river have you ever thrown a stone to that എടാ നമ്മൾ ഈ വെള്ളം കണ്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞാലേ നമ്മൾ ചെരിഞ്ഞു നിന്ന് വെള്ളത്തിൽ കല്ലെടുത്തെറിയില്ലേ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടോ അത് വെള്ളത്തിലേക്ക് കല്ലെടുത്തെറിയേ ആ അതെ നമ്മളിപ്പോ ചെറിയ ഒരു വെള്ളത്തിന്റെ സോഴ്സ് കാണുമ്പോ കല്ലൊക്കെ കാണുമ്പോ ആ കല്ലെടുത്തിട്ട് നമ്മൾ വെള്ളത്തേക്ക് ചെരിഞ്ഞു നിന്നിട്ട് എറിയുന്ന കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ ചെരിഞ്ഞു നിന്നിട്ട് എറിഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ല എറിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ എറിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കേ വെരി ഗുഡ് ഓക്കെ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള കുരുത്തക്കേടൊന്നും ഇല്ലാതെ ഡീസെന്റ് കുട്ടികളാണ് നമുക്ക് അറിയാന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചാൽ ഓക്കെ എന്തായാലും അത് ചെയ്യും നമ്മൾ എല്ലാവരും ചെയ്യും പക്ഷെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഗെയിം വിച്ച് ഇസ് പ്രിവേലിംഗ് ഇൻ സ്പെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് സ്റ്റോൺ സ്കിമ്മിംഗ് കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ഓക്കെ Uh, there yes. is a stone you can see that right so yes. that will be left from the uh, person by, by the person and that stone will be touching into the water top of the water 
and that will be counted that uh, probably i used to do the same thing and then shalya river shalya and all then i'll be counting it for how many times the stone have touched on top of the water so this guy is actually a professional in this and what he is doing is also similar to that but they have got a very very pakka uh, shaped stone okay this is actually a flat stone as you can see clearly in that image so this is called a stone skimming competition and uh, this is actually a game and this guy got first place and uh, there was a person who was with a small notebook and all who has been listening to the particular game and noticing the okay what is happening over the uh, uh, this guy game and all and who has won the first place and which is the angle that he has delivered the stone and everything so um, can you please tell me about your name what is your name sir shweta shweta okay shweta uh, so he has been listening to one particular thing that is uh, when this particular person who got uh, first place he has counted the um, angle of delivery and all so i would say that shweta he has made the 32 touchings on top of the water imagine 32 touchings so that was maximum touchings on top of the water then this particular guy who has been noticing all these calculations and all went to the nasa and mm -hmm. formulated a very big um uh, revolutionary concept called as the space shuttle's reentry to the earth orbit you know what is earth orbit it is actually uh, covering with the with the air and all so when the space craft is entering into the earth orbit if the angle is not correct it will just bounce off the angle if it is too shallow the the space shuttle will just touch on top of it and it will just bounce off and if the angle is too steep that will be burning you know the what is what has happened to our uh, um, astronaut called kalpana chawla she was actually burned along with her co passengers when the space shuttle landed into this uh, a wrong angle that means this is because of the temperature difference between the space and the earth crust earth not crust earth troposphere it is called as troposphere the first layer of the earth uh, air is called as troposphere and if the angle is correct only the reentry possibility uh, is uh, it will be okay so that angle has to be correct and that angle he has made with the calculations from the which came stains stone skimming game that is stone skimming skimming is a, a small thing that everybody do and i do you know, probably um, 90% of our students would have been also done by this uh, would have been uh, done this kind of a stone skimming but we might not be in a thing uh, it might not be thinking that this will be a very important contribution towards a very senior scientific enterprise called as nasa and all see that this is a small thing that we are everyone knows but this has got a very very um, stunning importance and we all know that there is a microscope we probably you must have seen in the microscope in shweta must have seen in the microscope in the zoology laboratory when you pass by and all so uh, there is a person called as antony levenhu Anthony Levenhoek was a uh, person who is with the, uh, selling the clothes and all. Poor guy. Is uh, out of his interest. What he has done is that he has invented a microscope. He would like. Uh, he was actually impressed to see the microorganisms, like small organisms which is present in the um, water or anything. So this is all his drawings back in 1716. Imagine. 1716 300 years back 1716 he has made a, a small microscope like this this is crude form of microscope and he has identified some of the microorganisms moving from one place to another and all you can see that a b c d and i have mentioned and all these microorganisms have got its importance and he has mentioned there is some uh, microorganism which is having a long um, nature and uh, there are something which is actually roundish in shape and all and what he has done is that he has just wrote a letter to the royal society of uh, london 
and uh, this is actually the first research publication ever happened in the world so he was not knowing that this is going to be the first research publication he has just mentioned okay this is what i got from the uh, microscope and he has read, uh, he has just made the um, pictures and sent to the royal society of um, london and this is the first publication so what i am trying to tell you is that whenever you are meeting any sort of incident which is related to the science or anything uh, or, or humanities or anything you have to make it into the paper and you, then only it will be valid that only will be staying forever and that paper has to be communicated to the peers and all and uh, so with this few backdrops let me tell you how to write a proposal because when you are entering to the masters whether we need to teach you proposal writing or not is a big question but as of now you have more time than anybody else because you are sitting at home and prepare a proposal for your masters degrees uh, thesis before um, i i would say that it is not a, a very uh, big thing uh, if you are thinking masters degrees is um, this is is also one which you can initiate from now itself that is um, that uh, that means you can uh, even try to get some fundings like uh, when you are sending it to kerala science uh, kerala state council for science and technology things like that so uh, the proposal we will uh, there is will be a meeting like this and uh, then they'll tell that okay we fund only those proposals we can understand that means if you are thinking that a large complexity of your language has to be there and all is not needed that is um, we can send a proposal to the people uh, in uh, the organizations and get it funded first this has been divided into three stages one is pre proposal stage and proposal stage and the post proposal stage and pre proposal stage is the uh, brain work that is actually brainstorming of okay what should i give to uh, the proposal um, uh, to the agency which agency should i give the proposal and uh, this is actually shortlist uh, donors that should to and uh, most common the rejection for the many criteria um, re uh, rejection is the criteria which is not related to the donors and all easiest thing is that just go through their website and uh, see that uh, okay which is the proposals that has been given uh, sanctioned by the uh, this particular uh, agency that you can see and uh, give the proposal and uh, main parts when you are moving with the proposal should be that you should have an exciting project and uh, you have to present that idea in writing and it has to be very clear and uh, you know uh, how to do it carry uh, how to perform it carry successfully and you are the right person to carry it out in the world that is the main important thing that is you need to claim that and when you write a proposal you should keep this thing in your mind that uh, one is uh, three types of readers that you are uh, going to face one is the program uh, grant officer that is actually the office a uh, person who is relating to your grant application center then one reviewer and then there will be some generalist also so every question has to be answered when you are leaving the proposal to someone else and uh, second is actually proposal stage in this uh, grant application format there will be a title there will be an executive summary there will be an introduction there will be objectives the study area and methods will be there project outputs and expected outcome is important part of the proposal and you have to tell that also to the agency and budgeting and cv and the references are also but a title has to be very simple and this is actually very uh, important point and uh, you have to be very uh, straight forward and uh, that is the title executive summary is actually carrying the uh, weight of the proposal that is actually an abstract of your project proposal which is actually Uh, related to the uh, related to that uh, topic and uh, you should be in a position to make it uh, short for 200 to 400 words and all and uh, next one is actually uh, your abstract should answer these questions what is a problem whether you are addressing a problem which is relevant to the society relevant to the science relevant to the people relevant to the um, industry relevant to the Uh, mankind so what is the problem 
why has it been done this before because there will be every chance to do the process programs before also but uh, you have to tell that why it has not been covered before and why do we why can we do it now why uh, can we do the project now and the purpose of this research is to uh, like that you should initiate and practice research writings and uh, writing abstracts and use the questions above for that and uh, go, go to agency's website for the familiarization of the project that is being granted now let me take you to a place where you this this four letters or four um, uh, lines of instructions or you just this is actually a take home message in your uh, in this class because when you are submitting an abstract even if it is when i have told you about the nasmac international conference and all first thing is the abstract submission so then they will be accepting the abstract and they will ask for the full paper to come uh, so this is actually writing an abstract is worst point is what problem or questions what uh, does your project address that can be for 50 words that means i am going to address uh, everybody is very much familiar with uh, the one nuisance pest that is cotterma in your home you are going to address that how to treat the cotterma with the uh, with some phytochemicals or something so you have a question that is there's a problem that is rubber beetle and the rubber beetle is a small bug which is actually causing very harm to your uh, house in terms of it is it used to be present everywhere so that how to control that particular rubber beetle and what were the main research methods that you will employ how to collect that data how to move about how to uh, finalize the methodology and all is how did you um, approach the question problem that is main research methods that you you, uh, you have used in this that is what discuss over there and third one is what could be the most important output you have found out that okay, this is the most effective chemical which is actually acting against the particular rubber beetle and all that is the most important output and fourth one is what is the relevance of the society a result uh, to the society and the science and all so this is the four things and if you are changing the uh, this same thing that is submitting an abstract to the uh, research paper also it is applicable so that if you are doing this one within 50 50 50 words that which is startling about 200 words and it can even be 100 words into four that is 400 words which is actually fetching a very good uh, result for your um, a scientific inquiry and the introduction has to be very very short and uh, you have to be uh, very moving to the very straightforward to the issue that is going to be addressed and you have to be also nk the readers that is introduction has to carry a weightage that okay readers has to understand the problems around and uh, prayer work and uh, bibliography this is called as uh, references and or otherwise called as a review of literature you should also be in a position to provide them that okay literature support has to be there so when you talk about something that has to be supported by the research um, support and objective is the crux of the uh, or brain of the proposal only those can be done in given time that means you are having six months of time for your master's uh, project and you should be in a position to tell that okay master's project will be finished within time and need not be over ambitious and all very crucial part of the objective and hypothesis is actually the intellectual guess because when you start a research program you don't know answer for that anything and what are we going to prove and how we are going to prove it is actually the next big question that means hypothesis is actually the position by which you should be in a uh, position to explain that is what and why and uh, what is the relevance of this project and how it has been explained and there is an intellectual guess so for example in the case of the rubber beetle okay this is related with the rainfall when we get the rainfall only the rubber beetles uh, outbreak is coming so there should be some relatedness so it is no don't take uh, uh, take a, an example of hypothesis during the release of molal picture only 
ദ റബ്ബർ വീറ്റിൽ വിൽ കം മോഹൻലാലിന്റെ പിക്ചറും റബ്ബർ വീറ്റിലും തമ്മിൽ യാതൊരു ബന്ധമില്ല സോ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു ഇന്റലക്ച്വൽ ഗസ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് വെൻ യു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു തിങ്സ് but you can establish a relationship between the uh, thunderstorm and rain because it used to appear together and when there is a thunderstorm to storm you can tell that okay within another 10 minutes you may expect a rain because it's an intellectual hypothesis but a thunderstorm and a bad uh, and a release of the film of x or y cannot be related so that is what called as hypothesis formulation and i think that you all of you you must be familiar with this cartoon right this is tom and jerry and uh, tom and jerry in this tom is actually the the cat and jerry is the um, rat so why tom is heading like this do you know the scientific reason for that there is a scientific reason behind this because uh, in this case i'll show you another picture a, a particular Uh, rat is attacking the uh, cat this rat is actually having a problem that is called as uh, a, a small protozoa that is called as toxoplasma gondii okay toxoplasma gondii that will infest the brain of the rat and in that area where there is a um, connecting link between fear fear factor and the um alert uh, sending message to the uh, organs for alert that means when you are seeing a snake you will be getting an alarm call from the uh, stomach that is called as nammal or ayyo the wire gali poi nu parayile adanu because in the adrenal cortex there will be a production of the hormones that will be sending to your motor uh, systems to act upon after seeing a, a snake run okay and like this also we have this uh, snake uh, the rats are having an alarm system that means after seeing the uh, rat uh, cat they have to run but this particular stocks of plasma will attack the brain of the rat and then they will switch off the uh, the organ that is actually making them to flee away then what will happen they will not be having any uh, sort of fear with the rats sorry cats so cats uh, this is what called us see what will happen definitely cat will catch the rat that is actually the success of the toxoplasma because in the toxoplasma that particular microbe uh, organism need to complete the cycle life cycle through the cat's fecus fecal pellet uh, droppings only they can come out and spread their generations so it, that is a simple method that means when you have a an issue that rat infestation is actually a, a technique which is uh, which has been shown by the nature so go to rat and switch off his brain uh, that is actually uh, signaling the fear factor and all and go to um, the rat uh, rat can go to the cat and cat will be eating the rat so i'm sorry that rat and cat is actually come <laughs> making up you see but uh, tom and jerry will be making it very easier for you jerry um, get it done thank you and study area method is another part which we need to explain uh, from where you collected the research um, materials and all and you should be also in a position to explain the targets and all and outputs and outcome is another part that you need to explain uh, what are the research impact and the significance and all and uh, you have also supposed to give a budget that is the most important component and uh, how much you want to have much money so to start um, to summarize this uh, proposal a good proposal summary will be starts with a good idea and is carefully researched and matches with the particular um, sponsors criteria neat and well written and you have to follow the guidelines operation expected outcome and demonstrate the cost effectiveness you are asking 1000 uh, rupees and uh, doing 100 rupees job it is not good so when you give a proposal it need not be successful every time and if it is denied only uh, also you have to suppose uh, to sub suppose to uh, submit it after revisions 
post proposal reporting is uh, after getting the money you should tell them uh, okay i have written the project like this and i have got to publish and this is my um, book and everything and we are supposed to give them and uh, i think this is a uh, this is for again shweta and team mathematics and uh, you see that everybody who would, would have had this particular uh, sadhya at your home and uh, when we talk about the taste uh, which can generate by a sadhya uh, it is very very interesting when you see that uh, sadhya uh, when you are taking one small piece of uh, uh, avial and eating it with the rice one taste will get you get one avial is mixed with the olen you get another taste and like that the possibility of making the uh, taste when you are having a single 50 rupees sadhya is about uh is related with the factor uh, factorials and you see that it is about this much taste that you can make I, it is i i don't know how to count this also that much taste that you can make and uh, finally uh, just uh, i'm just keeping it out and uh, moving on to the uh yeah this is actually the one which i want to talk about this opportunity and research institutes and general grants which is near to this uh near to us that is kerala council for science and technology that is another kerala state council for science and technology is a very big institution which is having uh, around seven institution under them and each of the institutions are actually having lots of possibilities of in, uh, getting or uh, people like you after your masters and this is kerala forest science institute i am a product of kerala forest institute for one year and i was with them and uh, many of our students are actually attached with this uh in should now and uh, dr raju is actually an alumnus of our department uh, has been with uh, kfra many many students are with kfra and this is kerala school of mathematics and uh, this is also a kerala state council for science and technology uh, support institution i, do, I don't, uh, just don't want to give uh, much detail about this thing because um, in the website it is available you can just go to the website of kerala state council for science and technology and as for the eight or seven institutions in them and uh, we have cftri central food technological research institute which is actually um, housed in mysore uh, this is actually another institute which is making the uh, possibilities of research and uh, development in the food technology department students and uh, i have been to this institute uh, for a while and uh, we have central leather research institute in chennai and we have the fluid fluid research institute in uh, kanjikode uh, these are all uh, run by the government of india and uh, this is actually uh, those uh, uh, having the masters degree in chemistry can apply for this institutes and all and you can also uh, get a job and uh, research apprenticeship and uh, things like that we have central institute of indian languages where the languages students are uh, and uh, can go and we have um, some institutions called as um uh tis uh, tatra institute of social sciences for the uh, masters of economics students can approach and uh, we can have lots of possibilities and we have kerala state council for science and technology student project grants which is actually uh, giving uh, space for uh, money for uh, more than 15000 rupees for their masters project and uh, some of uh, at least uh, about 25 students on our campus have received this um, grants in a couple of years within a couple of years like you have lots of um, possibilities to apply for the grants and all uh, this is another prestigious grant that you have an international foundation for science if you are a little bit uh, concerned about your future in the uh, the science and all you have this possibility uh, you can apply for that this is actually usf ief this is united states india educational foundation who will offer lots of grants and possibilities for the student exchange and all you can see that Uh, there are lots of students in that image um, from india actually and uh, idea wild is another organization those who can give uh, equipment grants i have received two equipment grants gra grants from them you can get printers gps cameras and all for your masters degree 
and Tel Aviv Grant Directory will give you an idea about how to get the grants from different part of the uh, world. So it is giving lots of uh, grants. Anything under the sun, like uh, economics, also they have grants. Um, they have agriculture grants and things like that. And I have already mentioned that you have to communicate it with the peers and all. You get travel grants also from one place to, uh, to move ahead. And in LAC fellowship is another fellowship that is giving you a possibility of traveling to UK and all for the uh, relocation. Like you get a uh, fellowship uh, in LAC and you will, they will be funding your entire travel cost with your luggages when you move to UK for your master's or uh, sorry, P, uh, PhD degree or something like that. And uh, with this thing, um, I just wanted to um, tell you, uh, we have four more minutes and uh, I just uh, wanted to tell you, we have to uh, use this kind of plagiarism checker uh, before sending your manuscript to someone else. And we have paper writer software also. You can um, use this uh, for your, before submitting your master's dissertation for someone else. And uh, well, this is another thing that you have probably uh, heard of this story. This is a zebra and a lion. And uh, this lion is actually sitting ideal and zebra is uh, uh, walking around. And uh, this zebra's nature is, uh, color is actually a very tricky thing. When you probably you would have done this thing in your uh, children's magazine like Ballerama and all, there would be a black and uh, white uh, round circles and all. Uh, so this is actually when you are just turning it in front of your eyes, your uh, eyes, you will be feeling that a picture is revolving. So that is because of the persistence of vision uh, in the eyes. So this is actually the reason for uh, the nature of uh, the appearance of zebra like this. Because if zebras will be moving in front of the uh, uh, lands as if they are just, they will not be standing there ideally for many hours and all. They'll just move from one place to another. And that will make the confusion between the uh, the eyes will get confused and uh, the look, uh, identification of the uh, real prey will be a difficult game for the land. That is the way they are escaping. So I just wanted to conclude my session with uh, a couple of slides. That is, this is called as, uh, uh, Elon Musk, who is a very, very genius, uh, uh, very, very uh, successful entrepreneur in the, in the world. And he has introduced the electric trucks within which can attain the speed of 60 kilometers uh, within five seconds and all. And he has also sent the, uh, the rockets to, that is called as reusable rockets. That is after releasing the rockets in the space, that uh, uh, base can come down. This is a Falcon Heavy rocket and all. They have tried um, many times. And I will tell you the story. Uh, to end up the story, I just wanted to tell you the story of uh, Elon Musk. That is, after the third attempt only, they could successfully send the rocket. And uh, first two attempts were a failure. So that everybody who was invested in his company was actually trying to take his money back. Then uh, he was actually bankrupted when he was explained the last uh, time. Then he, this, his shares are now um, shooted up like anything. And now he's actually one of the richest person in the world itself. And uh, with this uh, story, that means a scientific enterprise can even fetch you uh, very good uh, money. And uh, with this few words, I just want to ask you whether you wanted to do research or not. And you see that the cartoon, yes, I did it the last time. So you can all, um, you're welcome to pursue with your research. And I appreciate all of your patience to select um, um, to uh, so patients to be here in this session up to this and uh, I appreciate all of your uh, interest for being with us and I hope uh, you'll have a successful career in, with MES Mambad College uh, with these few words I'm opening uh, for a discussion if you wish and uh, anyone any questions from your side 